Hello, this is Wempire, uh, here to talk about momentum, okay? So, uh, the concept of momentum, um, I don't know, maybe for some people it's kind of hard to understand, maybe it's not, uh, but application in full contact, to me, is what I, I would classify as intermediate to advanced level, okay? It's, it's not easy to, to apply concept of uh, momentum, the, the stuff that I'm about to show you here, okay, so uh, it becomes harder. Number one is, I think the easiest thing to do is to show you with a circular motion, okay, this motion right here. So I'm going one, two, it's a circle like so. We use it a lot in uh, Filipino martial arts and people mistakenly think that, you know, it's, it's flashy, it's for show. And actually, it, we don't care about that. It's, it has functional purpose, and I'm about to show you that right now. So one of the things is, when you do that here, I go one, two, it's a double strike, okay? So that's the first uh, purpose. The, the second one is actually what has to do with momentum. Okay, so let me get that guy out of, out of here. So um, when you do the circular motion after the attack, meaning I slash, and then I go into the circle, it's a double attack, like you just saw right now. But if I do the circular motion before the attack, then I go right here, and then the strike goes. So I'm creating momentum before the strike. So that, that's what that's, that's the first um, momentum exercise there for you guys, okay? It, it's an actual combat move. You could use it in full contact, all right? So you just make the circle first and then strike. Okay, now the next thing uh, about momentum is when people want to hit hard, okay, so let me just go to punching, okay, so when people want to punch this thing hard, and they're like, hit this as hard as you can, people generally, you know, they bring their hand back, and they go boom like this, okay, so when, when they go back like that, it's like, it's like they're stepping back and getting some momentum, and then boom. Okay, so it's almost like a, like a train or something, you know. They, they want that, they're building momentum, right? And uh, I had a friend, I had a friend from, uh, he was from Africa. He was a big dude, um, tall, strong, you know, and he weighed about, I don't know, maybe like 240, somewhere around there. You know, he wasn't fat, you know, he was just, he was just tall and big, strong guy. I asked him, I was like, in, in a street fight, you know, what's your best move? What would you do? And he, he went like, he brought this arm back and he went boom like that, you know. And I'm sure he could knock out a lot of guys with it, you know, because, because he's big and strong. And I, I said to him, I was like, look, without really changing anything, because you have such a long gap coming from here, all the, from all the way back here to here, right? Why don't we fill that gap with something? Okay, so why don't you throw one of these and then throw that? So this is basic boxing, right? If you think about it. So in boxing, okay, we this hand right here is in the back. It's already loaded, right? And then when you throw that jab right here, you can see this is loaded right here. And when I throw that jab, it gets loaded even more because I'm turning. So when I, when I turn, it gets loaded even more. So it went back further to give me more momentum so when I launch it it's coming from here rather than from here you see you see that so it, it goes back this much more right and then when I throw the punch I also can use this shoulder rotation to give me more momentum right so that's that's basic boxing okay so now with, with the scream my same thing if, if you want to hit this thing as hard as you can most people bring this all the way back here, and then they go, Rah! and you can see that in so many, uh, like, knife cutting stuff, like where they have a, wa a bottled water, and, and when they're cutting stuff like that, you, you could see people, people go to the, the haymaker swing, right? Okay, so, with this scream, I remember, the weapon, we also use as a shield, so it's right here, it's in the front, the weapon side to the front. So from here, rather than bringing it back, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, and just make my, let's say I want this, okay? Let's say I want this angle one, is, is what they call it, this diagonal down slash. I want this really powerful attack right here, okay? 
So let's say I want that, but in order to do it, I want to gain that momentum. So let me just go ahead and do a slash up first, and that puts me into position. Now I do come crashing down with a powerful diagonal shot. So the first shot I did, I didn't wind it up or anything. I just went boom, like this. So I'm traveling all the way here, up to here, and then I'm coming down. So I get all this momentum here. So I'm going boom, so that's kind of like my jab, and then this is my cross. So it's, it's synergy, it's, it's helping each other out, okay? So if you guys can understand that, that is the, the concept, those two, the circular motion and then doing a move first in order to create momentum for the second move, okay? want you guys to practice that. Uh, that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and take care, folks.